Hey there, what's up internet? My name is Black Light Attack, and I don't know what everybody asked for for Christmas, but if your Christmas wish was that I would return to Wi-Fi battling on my channel, then wish granted, because I got you guys a brand new NU battle. Return of NU battling, return of RU, PU, whatever I feel like playing. So I guess there's nothing left to do but do the uh, team rundown. Uh, I'm running a physically defensive Caracosta, a mixed heat more, a uh, specially defensive Vile Plume, a Me First Mightyena, a um, pretty standard Calm Mind Mischievous, and a pretty standard Choice Scarfed Braviary. My opponent uh, threats that stand out on his team are Haunter, because if it's Scarfed, then it outspeeds everything on my team, and I'm not running Sucker Punch of Mightyena, and um, the Shuckle, because I don't know what to expect from Shuckle, and that scares me. I'm not afraid of Swellow, I'm not afraid of Sock, I'm not afraid of Amoongus, all the top tier threats in NU, because um, I know what they do, they're pretty predictable. But, I am afraid of Shuckle because I don't know what to do against him, so let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. So getting right into it, he's going to lead off with his Chinchino. Uh, I'm not sure if he wanted to U-turn scout or something, but I'm going to lead off my Caracosta, hoping to get up my Stealth Rocks early because he is my defensive uh, beast of a physical wall. He does that job really well, actually, but uh, threatening the Bullet Seed, obviously I don't want to stay in, so I switch into Braviary, who's got a pretty decent physical bulk and is able to resist the Bullet Seed. And uh, here he's actually going to hit me three times with the Bullet Seed, which clues me off to say that he is uh, not Skill Link, he's Technician. I should probably could have figured that out from his name, but you can't uh, assume these things. Um, so I'm figuring he's probably carrying the Wake Up Slap in lieu of, some, of the U-Turn. So I don't really want to send uh, out anybody who's weak to fighting, although Caracosta can take those hits really well because he's a physical tank, he's got solid rock, so I'm not really worried about anything but Bullet Seed. Um, so he is going to hit me with a Rock Blast, which is unfortunately unresisted, and he gets four hits, and he deals a little bit more damage than I'm comfortable with because he gets a crit, but Laguna was still probably the best uh, option. Laguna Beach here, he was probably the best option to take uh, that damage, so this time I need to switch into something fearing the Bullet Seed that can take a Bullet Seed and then another Bullet Seed on the next turn and then retaliate and kill this Chinchino, because right now it's just forcing me to switch all over the place, and I'm not cool with that. So I go into my Mischievous, because that's going to prevent him from using Tail Slap against me, which is going to be doing a a lot more damage. It's going to be able to take these uh, hits relatively well because he has a lot of defense investment and Eviolite, and I can retaliate with the hidden power fighting, which is going to KO this Machino. And uh, that's just going to be a huge, uh, huge pain in the ass off of my ass because. Chinchino could can definitely wreak havoc on some teams. They're actually predicting that he might be moving up to RU in the next tier shift. So anyway, uh, with him threatening the super effective crunch uh, off of Floatzel and Floatzel being very fast, I'm not about to stick around. He actually goes for the Ice Punch on the Switch. I don't know if he was predicting Braviary. I imagine that was that was his thought, but uh, I'm just going to go into uh, Laguna to take that like a beast. And he's going to uh, retreat, which I assume means he's Choice Bandit. He could potentially be Choice Scarf, but generally speaking, uh, Floatzel is fast enough to not need a Choice Scarf. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock on the Switch, because I love having me rocks up. It makes me happy. And uh, he's going to be threatening me out with the Grass Attack. Not so, uh, says I. So I stay in uh, for the Simba Sage, because I know he's going to predict my Switch, because I have been switching a lot so far this round. And I'm just going to stay in and go for the Toxic, just to uh, just to hit whatever. You know, if you wanted to pull a Double Switch, you could hit something there, but... Uh, he stays in goes for a hidden power, so now I know that this is a specially offensive Simisage, and I don't know what his hidden power is, but it's not fighting, it's not ice, because it would have resisted that, and it's not fire. But, I was an idiot. This is a misplay. I go into heat more thinking that it's probably ice or fire, not noticing that I had to resist it. Of course, at this point, I know it's not ice or fire, but uh, he goes for it on the switch to uh, heat more, and it turns out it's HP rock, um, which he's obviously keeping just for fire types. That's unfortunate. Um... So uh, Heatmore is going to go down. He doesn't get to do anything this round, which is unfortunate because he's got such an awesome gimmick to him. Uh, I'll try to get a, a game with him later. But uh, So in comes the Vile Plume, because uh, I now know that he's got HP Rock. And Vile Plume is a special defensive beast. And I'm just going to go for the Sludge Bomb in case he wanted to stay in. And the fact that he switched out tells me he is also choice. Um, and based on the damage that he did to Caracost, I'm thinking choice specs. Um, so I'm going to hit his Magmar on the switch, and that's great because Magmar uh, does not take a lot of damage to kill. But uh, unfortunately, he gets the sub up. Uh, I guess he's just scouting my next attack to see what I want to do. And here I get over ballsy. I get a little bit too uh, over predicty. And I stay in thinking that he's going to switch or try to be unpredictable and do something else. But really, what was he going to do when he's this low in health? He just goes for the Flare Blitz and one-hit KOs me. 
and I get the poison point off, on, or the uh, effects core off on him, which is not going to do anything because the recoil kills him anyway. And we both go down. Now on the blind switch, I'm going to switch into Braviary, because uh, he's just always a good option for these types of moments. Um, because he's Joy Scarf and he's the U-turn, just lets me scout. So I'm going to get some, uh, I'm not going to say free damage on on his uh, on his Floatzel, but you know, damage without Braviary taking damage. I really want to preserve Braviary because he's... Uh, definitely a strong contender for my offense right now because my offense is kind of be being picked away with um, with uh, heat more dead. So I go into Karakosi. He goes for the safe waterfall, and that was a good play here because nothing on my team anymore now that Vileplume is dead will resist that waterfall. And uh, Karakosi does not take it as well as I would have liked, but you know it is a choice band float, so he's got some pretty good attack to begin with, uh, and he's going to finish me off this turn, but. That allows me to come in and uh, revenge kill with my Scarf Braviary. And this time I'm just going to go for the return. I don't think a U-turn would have killed, and I would rather not... Uh, well, I guess a U-turn would have been more favorable here, because now he could just bring in Haunter. Because uh, he knows I'm Scarfed at this point. Now he could just bring in Haunter, which means that I have to dry switch, and that sucks. So I'm thinking he might go for the Shadow Ball um, on the switch, uh, you know, predicting Mischievous. But I go into Mighty Anna to try to resist it. Instead he goes for the Sludge Bomb, which is a, a safe neutral move. Uh, and it does deal a lot of damage, but I'm left with 71 HP. I make a huge risk here. I threaten him out with the Sucker Punch, which I actually don't have, and I go for the Substitute. I didn't know this, but I only have enough health to make one Substitute and live with one HP. Um, and the reason I knew I could make a Substitute is because I hadn't used my Slack Berry yet, and Slack Berry uh, automatically activates at 1 4th HP. So now I have a Substitute in front of me and a Slack Berry, uh, which is amazing, because now I can outspeed the Simus Sage. Now, I would have killed this thing any either way, but I think the crit there mattered, because I was able to one-hit KO him at this point, and that means he can't revenge kill me with Haunter, uh, who still will outspeed, because it turns out his Haunter is, uh, is Scarf. Uh, but he goes into his... Uh, I think the crit mattered. I think it still could have one-hit KO'd if it was, like, really high min-max damage, if it was really high on the max side. I think it still would have one-hit KO'd without the crunch, or without the crit, rather. But I'm not positive, so I'm going to say that, that crit probably mattered. Uh, he goes into a shuckle, and I don't think he really even has anything to break the sub. I would imagine, if anything, the only attack move that he's carrying is Toxic. His name was like Stall or something like that, so he was probably a wall. I don't think that's a very good idea, because I'm pretty sure Shuckle be can be one-hit KO'd by like a Nightshade from a Murkrow or something, but he uh, he's able to break my sub right at the end here, but of course it's too little too late, and that is going to be a nice little 3 piece sub from a sub-select Mightyena. Now he is carrying me first, but unfortunately I didn't get to use it at all. Uh, in this game, um, it would have been nice. It would have been nice to uh, to get to use it, but uh, you know, it's not a big deal. I really can't complain with a uh, sub slack sweep. That was pretty nice. Uh, three piece sweep, not bad. Now that was a 3-0, but uh, I think it was a bit closer than that, really, because uh, Mr. Viss and uh, um, Braviary were both starting to get low on health. And uh, Mr. Viss was very low. Braviary was only a little bit low, and uh, Haunter outsped them both. So. I think it was actually a bit closer than it looked, but anyway, my opponent was uh, Green Scrafty. I would like to thank him for the match. It was a really good match, and it was a great match back uh, for the first time. And he was saying the same thing. He said he just came back after a few months break. I told him I was in the same boat. We both know what it's like to uh, to be out of practice, so... Thank you so much for the match. His uh, channel link is in the description. Please go ahead and check him out. And as for me, go ahead and like the video. If you did indeed enjoy, you can click the bottom right annotation. That would be the more Wi-Fi battles button. That'll bring you to the playlist of all my Wi-Fi battles. That would obviously be the older ones because I haven't played in a while. Um, the middle button will take you to a link to automatically sub to my channel if you want to do that. And the bottom left link will take you just straight to my channel if you want to see more videos from me in general. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.